Panji's experiments with waste disposal began when it was literally flooded with garbage about 10 years ago. Its municipal landfill caved in, flooding agricultural fields and water bodies with garbage. It was then that the city corporation decided that this was the last landfill Panji would ever depend upon. Today, Panji is one of the best managers of municipal solid waste. It has put in place a five-way segregation system that not only differentiates between wet and dry waste, but sub-segregates the dry waste according to its recyclability. Dry waste is segregated into four categories, which include plastics, paper and cartons, glass and metals, and non-recyclable materials such as leather, ceramic, cloth, etc. The 115 residential colonies of the city are divided into 12 waste management zones. Each of these is managed by a supervisor who oversees segregation and transportation of the waste. The four-way segregation of the dry waste from colonies is done here. There are also 70 decentralized composting centers within the residential colonies to treat the wet waste. Wet waste from hotels and eateries and the marketplace is handled separately. Hotels and restaurants send their wet waste to a 20 ton per day composting plant outside the city. The marketplace has its own localized composting unit that takes in about 4 tons of wet waste from fruit, vegetable and fish vendors. Dry waste from residential colonies, eateries and the marketplace is all taken to a central sorting facility where the waste is segregated into a mind-boggling 30 different categories. The segregated dry waste is then sent to a neighbouring state for recycling. For its five-point segregation method, decentralised composting system and for pursuing a zero landfill model, Centre for Science and Environment confers on Panji the Clean City Award.